Hello. Welcome back to downtown. So the city is starting to grow more populated. We have 14 families left to do. And uh, I've been thinking a bit about it and I feel ready to start playing with the Anderson brothers if they happen to become the family chosen. So I'm going to decide between 12 families today. So I'm going to go ahead and start rolling my die, my D12 die, see who it is. Okay, so it's the ninth family. Okay, and that is actually Custer. So it's another elder and her uh, daughter with John Smith. So the previous one of these, I moved into these town houses. This is the second family like that though, and I would like to try to avoid making them too similar if I can. So I really have two options here. Either I move them into one of these sort of low-rise buildings, or I uh, make this the first family, moving them into the like high-rise building. So that could also be an option. Yeah, I think uh, let's go for it actually. Let's go with the uh, high-rise building. So it's not going to be the uh, top floor, of course, because that's reserved for the diva. But yeah, let's move them into one of the uh, house, like the apartments below that one. So here we are. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice with a street view like this, I think. Although if I start to spin the camera around, uh, it becomes a bit more empty, <laughs> you can say. So yeah. We're going to have to take care of that eventually, so it actually feels more like a city all around it. Uh, but for now, this is what we have to work with. And uh, I actually hadn't looked at it beforehand, but it turns out that uh, Vamsi is actually a fortune sim. So <laughs> that actually makes this a little bit more interesting, I think. Um, so I'm going to start out just checking out the apartments. Of course, this uh, top one is going to be for the diva, so I'm not even going to consider that one. And one of the first things I'm going to have to do is set up some camera angles because, yeah, this <laughs> camera work is already very wonky, I realize. So this is an option. If I took this one, I would have like the kitchen here, I guess. And um, maybe some sort of like sitting room or, um, yeah, dining table, entertainment room, maybe like a music room, depending on what hobbies they have then this one could be a living room and uh, then I would have two rooms for one room each for them or bedroom and if I took this one it would be one bedroom each and a really big kitchen <laughs> and then this would be the living room and then similarly this one I would have these rooms and those are the apartments I have to work with I think I want to hold off with this one just because it's actually three rooms that could be bedrooms uh, if I have to stretch it. Um, so I think I'm going to just wait with this one. This one is probably the one I'm going to go with because this one has a pretty long room here and it would be nice to like reserve that for, I don't know... Someone with several children or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, I think this one would work really well. So, yes. But before I do that, I need to figure out the money situation here. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I really have um, two options here, I think. What I should go with in terms of Vamsi and who she is. Either she is new money who has sort of built herself up into some sort of celebrity or very successful businesswoman or something, um, or she's old money and is sort of living off of her family's wealth. She could still be successful, of course, in combination with that. I think that might be the more interesting path for her, actually, that she comes from a very successful family. She had it like served them on the silver platter and she had a lot of things going for her. So she had a great education, could easily get a great job. 
whatever that job is going to turn out to be. Let's just, I don't know, mother load her twice. So she has 100,000, maybe. <laughs> let's start there anyway. And let's see how I do this after that. So she's going to rent this apartment. So that's going to be sort of the weekly rent. But I am also considering adding in some sort of other kind of fee that they have to pay for living in this um, sort of apartment to limit it somehow. So not everyone will be able to, to get this and stay living here if they become unemployed or, yeah. Possible that I would tie it to like the uh, employment level or something. I'm going to have to keep thinking about that, but... Let's start by just renting this apartment. And then I'm actually gonna set up some camera angles here. Uh, oh yeah, I made this garage as well. <laughs> so there's actually cars down here, that's pretty cool. But not usable parking spaces for the apartments, unfortunately. So I'm gonna want to have one camera angle like yeah down at street level and i think that should be the first one so i'm going to hit control and the number four on my keyboard and then um, the second one is probably going to be just the apartment it's this one so a good good angle is probably like just seeing the entire apartment <laughs> like that and i'm going to hit control five so now that I hit uh, the number four on my keyboard, it takes me down here. And then if I hit number five, it takes me back up to the apartment. Since it's such a high building, that's going to help me a lot, I think, um, just working with that. So let's start with those two camera angles. And I'm going to bring out the uh, stuff I need here. Yeah, that's it. So um, let's just start with the uh, season controller here and uh, change it to spring. So I don't forget that. So it's the fourth season. I can remove it. So let's start by taking a look at Vamsi and uh, randomize her secondary aspiration. I'm going to roll a d6 die. Got number three, one, two, three. So it's family actually, interesting. And right, I also need to randomize her hobby. So I'm gonna roll a d10. Got number two. Vamsi, her gender preference is straight. And then her hobby is uh, tinkering. I'm going to go ahead and uh, randomize her lifetime wish. <laughs> she got married of six children. I feel like isn't that the same that I got when I randomized for the other? No, Jessica Walter had have six grandchildren. So it's, um, but it's, it's very similar though. I feel like it's too similar. So I'm going to go ahead and reroll again. Earn 100,000 simoleons. That uh, I can work with actually. So I'm going to keep that one. Let's take a look at her current career. <laughs> Why do we have so many like criminals and uh, military people here? <laughs> okay, yeah, she's not going to be a criminal. Surely she's not going to be a criminal. Let me take a look at the different um, career levels for criminals. Just to, to entertain the idea. I mean, I could agree that she could be a smuggler. Your business card says you're in the import-export business. Let's just say you supply everything people want that the law says they cannot have. You're bringing in and sending out goods by land, sea and air and earning the large profits all that implies. Your skills need to be fully honed to reach the apex of this illustrious career. And then she would work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and have the other days off. And she would be working in the middle of the night <laughs> as well. 
Is that what I want to go with? She grew up in a wealthy family that served everything on a silver platter, but somehow the greed took over and it wasn't enough for her. <laughs> so she ended up taking the criminal path. I mean, I guess it's interesting, right? So I'm going to go with it. <laughs> I really didn't think that I would be starting out with uh, criminals, um, but okay, let's actually keep that. Okay, uh, then I'm changing her job level to, oh, she has, oh, she has the elder career. Let's change it then to the adult one. Just gonna play time a bit. I can go ahead and give them cell phones. Meanwhile, good, and then I can um, change the job level to nine. So she's a smuggler. <laughs> um, oh, it actually was the other way around. She has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then she's working Thursday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Okay, I guess that's fine. Her... Um, Skills don't really match the career though, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did for Jessica. Her name is Jessica, right? Still haven't learned. Yeah, it was Jessica Walter, yes. That I uh, roll a d6 and see how many points to increase. So let's start with mechanical. Actually, <laughs> you know, mechanical, She's uh, her hobby became tinkering, right? So actually, let's just give her one point below max for that one. Body, though, I'm going to roll. Number one. So she got one extra there. And creativity. She got two extra. That's a bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and give her a um, job stopinator so she doesn't become promoted. Because I don't think I want her to become a criminal mastermind. Um, that's just a bit too much. <laughs> okay then, well. What major did you have then? I'm trying to remember which ones are connected to criminal. I think it might be like art and economics. Let me double check. <laughs> no, actually I was wrong on both. It's literature and mathematics. No, I think, really, I think that... Vamsi might have been like pushed to become uh, an artist of some kind by her family, um, earning money that way, becoming famous and so on. So I'm really leaning more towards literature for her then. Like she might have started out aiming for like the entertainment business or show business or something. And then somewhere down the line, this one became more <laughs> attractive to her for some reason. Yeah, let's go with literature then. Yeah, and that's what I need to add for her. And then let's take a look at her daughter, Swan. Who's apparently trying to greet the neighbors here. The very temporary neighbors. <laughs> she wants to annoy the neighbor the first thing she's doing. Um, well, she's a teenager. So I'm not gonna add any secondary aspiration. But she's going to need to have the uh, need benefits. Currently, she has pretty good skills. Don't need to adjust anything there. She's in the athletic career for some reason. And she dreams of becoming a business tycoon right now. So let's take a look at her traits. I need to randomize her hobby. Number five. One, uh, she's bisexual, that's interesting, and uh, so number five is music. I think that actually really suits my, like, <laughs> my idea of her, not that I've ever played with her, but I can really see her being a virtuoso. So she's single, bi, and her hobby is uh, music. I don't know why she would work as a locker room attendant, though. I mean, it, it did work out with her previous hobby being sports, but I don't know why Vamsi would have pushed her in that direction, especially with her being like part of the uh, Custer family that's apparently this 
old rich one. <laughs> so it seems a bit odd. She's very active though. Much interest in sports. And I think Vamsi does too because her previous hobby was also sports before I randomized it. Maybe that could work out. Anyway, it doesn't have to like necessarily relate to soccer. It could be like lacrosse or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, she could be in like the school sports team or something. Maybe she is like fencing or something <laughs> fancy like that. Uh, so I'm going to keep it actually. So I'm just going to consider it like an after school activity type of thing, I guess. Yeah, and that's all I have to prepare for her as well. So the uh, spreadsheet is filled out for those two. And I can go ahead and delete this. Oh yeah, I knew there was something that I was forgetting. Uh, I need to consider her age as well. Maybe like add a random number because I don't want the um, teenagers who were previously the teens um, to be the exact same age, all of them. I want them to be a bit spread out. Uh, so if I just roll a d4 and see how many days to increase with. Three. So she's three days older. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, so um, yeah, let's... Um, get to the makeover part of this yeah i think that this is uh what i'm going for really a sophisticated old lady <laughs> yeah so she's gonna have the same one for her formal for sure uh, but she's not gonna sleep in this <laughs> so what does her hair look like when it's out i mean that could work yeah I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do something else for um, swimwear and athletic though. I mean, the curls is a bit much, I guess, but uh, let's go with it anyway. <laughs> I guess her hair is always styled. There it is. And outerwear, yeah, she's gonna have this. Let's see about makeup. I think that's nice. Uh, I do think I want to add some wrinkles to her though, because she has a very smooth <laughs> complexion right now. Um, actually, I do have that costume makeup. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I think that's subtle enough. And then um, if you go back here, I have some like frown lines. Yeah, that's good. And some worry lines as well. Yes, I like that. And then what about lipstick? I don't think she had any makeup on at all from the start, actually, but... Um, She's gonna have it now. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. Let's go with that. And do I like the eyebrows, by the way? Maybe I should change those. <laughs> For some reason, she looks a bit surprised <laughs> when I change to those. Maybe these are better than, yeah. Looks more like she's frowning and that's uh, what I'm going for. Right, and I'm going to have some sort of wealthy looking outfits as well. So her original outfit was very <laughs> starkly mismatched with a green top and blue pants. That would take in, in the blue, but uh, I think it looks too sweet. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe actually this is the best one. That I have right now. Let's go with that one. Apparently she has this one right now. I'm gonna let her keep that one. Yeah, let's give her this one, I think. Yeah, that one looks better. Yeah, let's just give her this one, I think. 
looking good. So I'm changing her back into her everyday. And yeah, here she is. <laughs> All right. And Swan might be a bit of a challenge because um, I think that she has a very, you know, iconic look to her. And uh, this hairstyle in particular, I can't really see any other sim in. It's just like made for Swan <laughs> in my mind. Um, but yeah, somehow I'm going to have to find something that works out. So let's see what I can conjure up. Yeah, this one could work. It's um, It's very special this one could really work it's um yeah it looked really good on her <laughs> yeah this one is special for sure but uh, i don't think it's the correct <laughs> vibe i'm going for i think i'm just gonna run through the um, custom hairs as well just to see if there's something popping out at me she could have white hair <laughs> I could keep the purple, but change her to that hair color. <laughs> this one is interesting. <laughs> I just don't feel like it's her. I think that this one is actually the best one. I think that she would have ha have to have some sort of styled hair, but in a pretty extreme way. Um, Thinking about her ori original hairstyle and then the purple coming through here to this color instead. And I think this style suits her as well. She doesn't have bangs anymore, um, but I think that's fine, actually. This is going to add a limit, though, because I can't really give her different hairstyles unless I want to use this or this, I guess. Um, yeah, so she's going to have to have this hairstyle for all outfits, but I think that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go with that, and then let's see if she keeps this as she grows older. She actually also have has blush on. I think I'm going to consider that for her as well. This is without... I think it does add a little something. I think this is the best one for her. Yeah, I think this works. Let's go with that. And yeah, let's try to find a good outfit as well. So she has a lot of white from the start, but also a bright pink, like fuchsia. Could go with something like this. I mean, if she's in the um, sports team as well, this is a bit sporty to me. <laughs> And it has the white. Yeah, these are too much, I think, for her. Let's go with this one and uh, some white pants, if I can find it. No, I've been clicking my way back and forth here for a while. And uh, I think that this is the best match for this jacket. So I'm just going to go with that and see how it works out. Yeah, I think that works. Let's just keep continuing on with the purple theme here. Let's give her this. Yeah, let's go with this sort of Maxis one. Yeah, let's just grab this one. She won't be a teenager when it becomes winter anyway. <laughs> All right, so change back into your everyday. Yeah. I think that actually works out because she does look very unique this way still, even though I had to change her uh, very iconic hairstyle. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that's the setup really for these girls. And the next step is to just uh, furnish the apartment. So let's continue on with that. I had actually been looking forward to furnishing these apartments even since building this house because I can't remember a time when I've built a Skyrise building like this before in The Sims 2. Uh, I definitely modeled it off The Sims 3 and the way that uh, those apartments work 
Uh, I think that those houses are technically even higher than this though. Um, but yeah, I find it really cool the way that, you know, when you are looking out of these huge windows, uh, in the areas where I've actually put down some uh, hood decoration, that is. <laughs> you can see other uh, tall buildings as well. It just gives such a distinct feeling uh, and very, very different from, you know, building a small rural town, like what I usually build. So yeah, it was a really fun experience to finally get to furnish this. I started out as I normally do apparently with the, the bedrooms and uh, this one is swans and um, coloring the whole room in another color became too much i felt like so i just made a feature wall with dark purple here and at first i tried to start with the wardrobes but i couldn't figure out a good place to place them so i went to the bed instead and uh, what with it being such a huge room and this being such a rich family, I figured that she would have a double bed, even though the other side of it isn't going to be accessible technically. And uh, yeah, I put this in this one, very <laughs> rich looking one that I don't often use, but it's very pretty. And um, for what I've normally been doing when furnishing the apartments in this town is just going sort of sloppy with what the recolors I pick to make things look, you know, a bit more random, a bit more um, lived in. But for this apartment, it felt better to be very particular with what swatches I selected. So I actually spent a longer time than normal to select those things and uh, decided to make this makeshift built-in bed section <laughs> with the, the screens here that's technically a curtain and then i framed it in with uh, a wardrobe so that became like the position for it and yeah i'm really pleased with how it turned out it's really became a cozy nook <laughs> for her and then uh, of course she has the desk to do her homework on and i put in an electric guitar for her Something that I recently learned is that uh, once you have placed down the instruments, you can take the um, design tool and uh, click on the guitar, for example. Then you will have different swatches. And uh, I never knew about that before, but it's uh, the same way that it works for, um, you know, for a console, game console. Um, when you use the design tool and click on the hand controls, you can recolor them as well. Um, if you have recolors for it, that is. So yeah, that's really cool, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't have a lot of uh, recolors for the instruments, but uh, yeah, it's nice to know that it's possible. <laughs> and then we're moving on to the mother's room. And um, yeah, with these huge windows, I really felt like I needed to screen it off a bit to limit you know, the visibility into the bedrooms, but also how much light comes in. So uh, I combined both curtains and um, uh, like rolling blinds, or what it's called. <laughs> that was a very Swedish translation. <laughs> Let's call it Swinglish. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I had a hard time to pick out what bed to use um, because yeah, I wanted it to match well with like the bedside table and flooring and everything um, but yeah so I ended up going with this in the end and it, uh, it's not perfect but it's uh, good enough and uh, I was very tickled by using that bedding with the snakes on it because I feel like uh, Vamsi really is a sort of snake in the high grass <laughs> in this high society um, so I really enjoyed using that and I felt like it fit in really well and selecting the bedding in this room wasn't as uh, well was also a struggle at first i thought that this sort of striped one was gonna work and we're well, looking at it right now like this it would have worked but then i also tried to make some sort of makeshift canopy bed here for her and uh, ended up going with some uh, curtains behind the headboard and uh, well once i had finally selected the uh, swatch i wanted then it really didn't work with the stripes anymore, so uh, I had to change that out as well. 
So it, yeah, there wasn't one that was like perfect, but I felt like this one was uh, the best option. And then this is of course uh, an apartment that um, is going to have a lot of expensive stuff. And part of that is going to be artwork. So huge paintings, huge expensive ones, and also some statues later on. But that is sort of how the, the mother's bedroom turned out. And then we're moving on to the bathroom. And uh, well, the layout of this was actually more of a challenge than I thought that it would be. But uh, I, in the end, I selected some uh, lattice screens and put them in here to screen off different sections of the bathroom. And that allowed me to put in like a shower in one corner and uh, the toilet in another while still not having this like open um, space that's very visible out through the window. <laughs> um, there wasn't a perfect space to put a sink with a mirror. So I ended up putting the sink like a freestanding sink like this in front of the huge window. And that, uh, yeah, that's how I did that. And then this other corner became um, for the bathtub. But then there were these empty spaces to the sides of it. So I decided to put in some sort of um, table here. Ended up finding one that was actually matching really well with uh, the sink. I was happy about that. And that allowed me to put in some uh, decorative stuff here to make it all fit together a bit more. <laughs> to not make it look so, um, well, like it isn't, didn't fit perfectly. And um, it also allowed me to put in uh, some nice greenery in here as well. Uh, but I had to use a lot of uh, snapping to grid off <laughs> because otherwise this wouldn't have ever worked at all. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the screens are walkthrough. Uh, so uh, this is going to be full fully functional as well. But I struggled a bit with where to put in the mirrors here because yeah, there's just this huge window in front of the sink. So I ended up going with um, on both sides of the wall here. So there's a long um, vertical mirror in one side and the horizontal one in the other. And then we're moving on to the huge kitchen. And I decided to go with this technically not very expensive uh, set. But it's, it looks very fancy to me <laughs> with these drawers and uh, cabinets like this. And uh, I found a good marble countertop that made it look really nice and expensive. So this corner became uh, where sort of the, the kitchen part of this is. And I'm gonna have the uh, kitchen table in the same room. So they can certainly, certainly fit it in here. <laughs> and then I used uh, island counters as well. First, not sure how to do it here. Uh, there was this gap in between the wall when I did that, but then when I did this, there was another gap on the side of the counters. So I ended up going with uh, one of these kitchen basic screens uh, and screening off that part. And at this stage, it didn't look that good, but after I put in um, kitchen cabinets like this, it sort of um, yeah, it just came together perfectly. So. Yeah, everything looks built in and nice. <laughs> so I was very happy with this. And I'm putting in some um, nice ovens and a big fridge. And the trash compactor, of course, and the dishwasher, all of this, you know, expensive stuff that they need. And um, yeah, I um, at first I thought that I would uh, have this. Uh, with the, the chairs like that, but uh, <laughs> it took up too much of the room and I needed to have this uh, huge dining table as well. So uh, I just put in the chairs on the other side of the counter. And then went in with this really nice big table as well. And of course some nice expensive artwork, because otherwise these walls uh, just become so empty looking, I suppose. Artwork really helps <laughs> with that. And a big, nice uh, designer light above the table as well. And I didn't go ham with the uh, decorations in the kitchen or around the entrance because I felt like in an expensive apartment like this, 
they are probably wanting to keep it looking a bit minimalistic or like cleaned up <laughs> around those areas you know um, sort of like yeah when i imagine a, a kitchen in a rich house or apartment the counter surfaces are pretty much empty and squeaky clean you know <laughs> that feeling uh, so that's how i left it and then I screened off this area of the living room, again with lattice screens, just to um, make it more uh, feel like this part of it is the uh, living room area, and then the other part is going to be more of a, an office space area, I suppose. And this is uh, where I put in the, the huge statue as well, ended up being a completely black one. <laughs> and uh, the TV had to go on a diagonal. And of course, putting in a huge carpet um, or rug, I should start saying, <laughs> instead of carpet. Um, it really also helps with creating a room within a room, you could say. And again, some expensive looking paintings. And yeah, this huge plant helped as well, I think, <laughs> to make it um, yeah, tie everything together. And then of course I put in this huge grand piano <laughs> because that was the natural thing to put there. And then I ended up going with this island counter desk that allowed me to put in a laptop in the kitchen. Now this is not something that I have known existed at all, but then very recently I watched a uh, video by um, Antisocial Bunny where she built a high school and she used those and it blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that you were able to do that. I, I remember several times in the past years that I played The Sims uh, when I wanted to make a solution like that for a computer on a, an island, but it just hasn't worked. And well, of course there's a solution for it. <laughs> there seems to be a solution for everything, right? So yeah, that's really cool. Um, it can be a little bit fiddly with the custom chairs, but yeah, it, it does work. <laughs> So, oh, really recommend it. Yeah, I'm putting in some more decorations here, around, and uh, some more lights, of course a burglar alarm, and then finishing up with also a time control clock. And that is the apartment finished. So, the apartment is furnished and ready to play in. So let's just start this with um, dropping down here to the time control clock. Oh, now I see I haven't, <laughs> I haven't put it in a good space here. It's sinking into the table. Um, maybe I can put it on this table. No, it's too low as well. I guess I'll have to use this. I think that will work better. Hmm, doesn't want to go on that one. How about this one? No. Okay. Always, always tricky with electronics. Um, I guess I'll have to use this one. I can line it up right. It doesn't look right, this. I think that's probably good. Yeah, that works. Good, so now it's not sinking through the table anymore. So I'm gonna slow down the speed to 50% as always. And um, well, it's Monday. So of course one has school. I'm gonna click number four to get down here again. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask her to walk to school. And yeah, actually Vamsi has the day off today. I guess I'll send her upstairs to start out. Just go here. They would have help around the house, right? So I'm gonna also employ a maid. I think a butler is overkill in this house. But uh, yeah, for sure, a maid makes sense. So let's start with that. Call service. Okay, we have a mail made here. Is that what I'm going for? Sure. Let's do it. 
So they'll be over today, but uh, there won't be much to clean, <laughs> of course, because everything is brand new. Um, but yeah, so let's start with checking so that the computer works. Is there anyone to chat with? Oh, Rainelle, that's actually pretty perfect. I bet that uh, she would want to get close to her. Yeah, good, it's working. Uh, doesn't look very good though. Okay, so this wasn't um, <laughs> this wasn't a good choice of chairs apparently for that. So I think I'll have to change them out. I can actually go ahead and walk here, and I can try some other chairs. Maybe they look better. I think I've uh, had issues when I've tried this with the custom chairs in the past as well. I could try with this though. Yeah, that looks more like it, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so let's try this again, chat with Simon. Yeah, now it looks correct. So this one worked instead. We might as well meet Jasmine as well, since she logged on. Good. Um, yeah, so I think she can have some breakfast. Let's just go with the canopy. <laughs> Makes sense. So I guess that normally Bamsi would probably be sleeping in late, seeing as she works all through the night until 8 a.m. <laughs> and this would be one of her days off, coming on from a long weekend of criminal activity. <laughs> Trying to figure out if they would like to have a pet. I can really see them having cats. Maybe two. Yeah, as I suspected. <laughs> Jerry desperate. So he had nothing to do today. He'll be back tomorrow. So maybe I can give him a quick makeover then. But I think actually that cats make so much sense that I might as well just go ahead and uh, have her buy a pair of cats, so shop online, buy pets, this kind of cat could work, you know, <laughs> it wasn't a bad thing popping up at once. Let's just go with this one, I think, it works. Now I'm thinking of the, you know, bright green gemstone, is it emerald? Let me just double check. Yeah, it is. So let's have them adopt a female cat named Emerald. Uh, what is her personality? Yeah. I mean, this is fine. Let's just go with that. And maybe, maybe let's start with one cat and then let's see if they want to adopt another one later on. So I need to grab some pet stuff here. The litter box is going to be a bit tricky because it, there's no room really in the um, bathroom, I don't think. Unless I want to try to put it like under the sink. I don't know if that works. I can try it, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> let's have it like that. And yeah, a scratching post somewhere. Let's put it in there. And then I think I'm going to let her sleep wherever. But I can also put it in, in like this um, cute spots where she can sleep as well like invisible kitchen counter surface that's actually also going to allow the cats to sit so maybe she can like have one spot here on the um, piano stool and then maybe another spot like in the middle of the sofa right there maybe on this as well i don't know maybe she will jump onto this anyway but um Maybe let's use this to encourage it. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, yeah, these are also very nice because when I go into live mode, they're going to become invisible <laughs> on their own. So that's good. Yeah, so she has a pet bowl, a scratching post, somewhere to sleep, somewhere to uh, go potty. And I guess a toy makes sense as well. Let's just drop in a um, mouse here. 
Oh, and Mr. Humble has left the package. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Right. And I mean, just in case the cat runs away for some reason, let's also buy a uh, collar. Yeah, let's grab that one and fill the pet bow. And then can she change her appearance here? No, not with that mirror. Let's see if I can find a mirror in here that it works with. Maybe this one? No. Uh, maybe this one? No. <laughs> Are all of them created before pets? That's unlucky. I guess I'll just put in a temporary one then. Let's just use this quickly. Yeah, and uh, need to scold the cat for scratching the furniture. The very expensive furniture. <laughs> there we go. We can change the appearance. Nice. So she has her collar on and I can remove the mirror. Let's just um, cuddle the cat for a bit. Maybe play a bit with the cat teaser. That's nice. Right. Try to consider this because she does have the tinkering hobby and she has also been very much into creativity. So since her daughter is also into music, that could be something that they are doing both of them. So I mean, it's not impossible that Vamsi is also um, very much into at least playing piano. So I guess she can uh, do that for a bit. She has more in uh, music and dance than she has in arts and crafts after all, even though it's very slight. Trying to keep an eye on the cat as well. Should probably take a moment to um, praise for good behavior as well. I'll take another look at the chat. If there's anyone else interesting she can meet. I don't think so. But... Yeah, she should be able to um, call up right now. Oh, I just realized that I forgot a uh, toilet roll here. <laughs> Let's just add that in. Uh, but since I'm sure that she will want to befriend her, she might as well call her up. And the cat's gonna jump onto the um, piano stool here. <laughs> not sitting quite on it, but it's not very noticeable. <laughs> I think maybe I can scoot it forwards a little bit. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so there's a chance card here. After the lunchtime break, Swan and her friends have a few minutes left and start playing a friendly game of tag. Swan gets tagged pretty quickly and is now it. There are two potential targets nearby. Nina, who is one of the fastest kids in school, and Andrea, a not very athletic girl. Should Swan go for the difficult tag or pick the easy target? I mean, her mother is a criminal <laughs> who has had things served for her since a young age. Um, I think she is pretty ruthless and has probably taught Swan to be as well. So I guess she would chase the slow kid. Going after the slow Andrea, Swan trips over something that is sticking out of the ground. The object turns out to be a wallet that someone lost at the last parent-teacher's night. The parents who lost it were, were very well off, and so Swan happily collects 10% finder's fee. Okay, nice. <laughs> Not that they needed it, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so Vamsi is done, so let's just go here. And go ahead and call up Raynell. I haven't played with Raynell yet, um, so I won't invite her over, but... Oh, she doesn't even have a phone, so never mind. <laughs> she won't be able to get to know her. Um, besides the chat, that is. So, is there anyone else then? Not really. I think the only interesting person might be Jessica. Right now, anyway. They could become friendly, I guess. <laughs> well, 
question is also what she does for the tinkering hobby, really. She could be reading books, of course. Maybe that's more her thing. So I'm going to have her just study mechanical. She has a lot of those wants, of course, that she wants to get the skills she needs for promotion. We're going to have Swan arriving back from school any moment now. She has the day off. That's nice. She actually needs a, a point in charisma in order to get promoted. And apparently she needs four friends. <laughs> she already knows her uh, siblings, the ones who are her siblings, but she doesn't know that they are her siblings. That is. So I guess she's met them at school. And the neighbors are already starting to fight, apparently, and checking each other out. <laughs> So Swan is thinking about sporty things and going on a date. Not that she really knows anyone yet that she can go on a date with. Is there anyone on the chat? We have Lauren on the chat, who is a teenager. Lauren, I think... Yeah, it's him. It's one of her siblings. <laughs> so... But she's very nearly friends with him, actually. They are pretty close. Neighbors are getting skills. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only teenager right now. So she can just stop chatting with him. And where is the cat? Oh, the cat is behaving, scratching the uh, scratching post here. So let's praise. And uh, interact a bit with the cat, I think. I'm interested to figure out if uh, Swan is aware of her mother's work, like <laughs> that she's a criminal and what she actually gets up to during the nights when she's out. That would really color her, like having the knowledge of her mother being involved with that and, you know, of course, loving her, so not wanting the police to catch her, but also probably worrying about her. And she would have to be very anti-society, I suppose, <laughs> to accept it at this age, if she knew. I think it would be difficult to hide something like that for very many years, especially since they are just the two of them. I suppose they are very close, and what with uh, Swan being pretty old at this point, I think that she could put two and two together anyway. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure she knows. Let's check out again the uh, chat. We have a Ryan, and that's also one of her um, siblings. So nothing interesting there. She does need to gain a skill in charisma. Let's start with just having her um, practice speech in her room. Lamsey can stop doing that and interact a bit with the cat. Who's still behaving, and that's good. And of course it's started to rain again, like it always does in these episodes. <laughs> Nice. Uh, it's a bit early to have dinner, but I'm also trying to figure out how to work with the both of them being into sports. I can't really see the two of them go out and tossing a ball <laughs> to each other. It would be so wrong for some reason. Um, I could put in like a boxing bag, but where would I have it is the question then. There's no, like, natural place to put it. Mm, no. I don't know what to do about that, actually. So, I'm just going to put that on the shelf for now. <laughs> Maybe I figure something out. Uh, she doesn't really have anyone to chat with. Um, so, let's just have her go back to playing piano, I guess.
Oh yeah, something that I haven't put in into this house is actually a coffee machine. I think that they could have an express espresso espresso machine. <laughs> Question is where I want it to be. Guess let's just put it there. Unless I want it like here somewhere. Hmm. I don't really like having the back of it over there. That should work though, I think. Can serve some espresso. Mm, okay. <laughs> I have to scoot it a bit to the side, I guess. How about now? Yeah, now it worked. You're actually also starting to get a bit tired, but you're very close to getting your first charisma point. Use the bathroom. Once you're done, which is now, and then she can also grab a cup of uh, espresso. Mm, she's actually also gaining fun from <laughs> drinking espresso, I see. There's something about these uh, teenagers that used to be the teens, I've noticed that uh, sometimes they go to the fridge and it says like grab a snack, but they don't grab the snack. They just play with the fridge. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe something is a bit um, wrong in the coding there for them for some reason. I don't know. Let's use the bathroom and then uh, Vamsi can go ahead and serve dinner. She's not super good at cooking, so I guess let's just make some um, tomato soup. Do you have anyone new to chat with? Lily Miller is an adult, I'm pretty sure. She might as well just meet her, I guess. Oh, good. The cat is using the litter box and it actually worked like that. So I'm just gonna have Vamsi praise. Nice. Then I don't have to change that around. Yeah, she's an adult and no one knew, right? Nope. But I guess since she's very close to be friends with Lauren, at least from her side, uh, she can head into her bedroom and uh, call him up. This is the bad thing about putting a carpet or a, a rug into the room, that uh, she's not able to go here anymore. <laughs> Good enough. And call Sim. Let's hope that Lauren isn't at work. No, he isn't. Good. You can bump down the social a bit so she can chat with him a bit longer while her mother cooks dinner. Try to figure out if Vamsi and Jessica would have met somehow somewhere. So Jessica is working in the medical field. Definitely not impossible. So I might as well... Um, have them be friends even. Um, I can um, summon her over later. <laughs> her and Orion, I guess, because Orion was also pretty close with Swan, which should explain why they are close. Yeah, okay, apparently Swan liked Lauren a bit better than he likes her because they're not friends yet. <laughs> you can hang up on him and eat dinner. Is the cat up to in the bed? Under the covers. That's fine. Oh, apparently the plant is poking through the wall here. Oh. <laughs> well, that's one of the downsides of putting in those counter things. That they uh, like using them for plates. So I'm actually going to delete this one. And the cat can sit in the sofa normally instead. If she wants to. Still poking through. There's a reason why I don't often use this after all. Maybe if I put it on the diagonal? No, that's even worse. Yeah, okay, now it's okay. I can live with that. Talking a little bit about um, Swan moving, I guess, um, when it's time for uni. And... Um, I can really see Vamsi being open 
uh, for her moving out of this apartment into a student place, getting a part-time job maybe and exploring life really. I think she would be the kind of mother who is pushing her child to excel on her own, stand on her own legs. Not wanting to clutch too close like Jessica does with Orion. And speaking of Jessica, let's actually summon her and Orion in. This uh, Vamsi and Swan, they aren't new in town after all, so we I think it would make sense if they already know, know people and have friends and so on. So not worried about that. Yes, Walter, Jessica and Ryan. Can clean those up. And you can also greet Ryan so you know him. Actually, Swan and Ryan should get along pretty well because they both also have the music and dance hobby. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna bump up their relationships a bit as well. So Jessica, she should be close friends with. So let's just take long term set to, I guess, 70. And um, Orion set to... Uh, 20 is enough and for swan um she's about to greet jessica first of all uh oh yeah she does know Ryan. i just didn't see him um then let's just jessica long term 20 i guess so why don't you go into your room and you can call orion over and they can uh, hang out in there. Actually gonna just move her here because I ask, I can't ask her to walk over there with the carpet in the way. <laughs> Let's see if Orion is on the way. Yes, good. And then they can hang out. And I think I'm gonna move them a bit again just to make it a bit less awkward. And... You can uh, hang out a bit more with Jessica. And that's going to fulfill one of her wants. Dis disagreed, but they made best friends anyway. <laughs> okay, so now the family sim uh, is coming in to play here. And she wants to fall in love, apparently. Hmm. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> maybe, Maybe there's someone for her out there. Well, from the get-go, they don't really have a lot in common, it looks like. So let's keep trying. Well, if you can stop talking about food, I think this would go a lot smoother. <laughs> I'm sure that these two grow up together. They might be childhood friends. But I'm sure that Jessica doesn't know that she's um, been working as a criminal my goodness, they really don't get along. Maybe this was not a good friendship after all. Do you have nothing in common? Yeah, okay. She likes talking about the environment, so that's good at least. They have something to talk about. And how are things going in here? Going well. It's difficult to get a good camera angle. I guess we'll just watch them through the window here. <laughs> but things are looking looking good here. Talking about work, apparently. You know what they should have? They should have a um, drink cabinet. Where can I put that in? I don't think I can put it in behind this, surely. Maybe, I, I can try. <laughs> um, let's see if it's going to be in the way later when they try to use the computer. Because then she can serve some uh, nectar here. Let's go with grape. Maybe Jessica would like some nectar. Can she call to drink? No, <laughs> she can't. But maybe, maybe she'll do it anyway. No, she's reading. She's she's immersed in the <laughs> in the books here. Okay. 
The cat's still in the bed? No? She's woken up. Can go ahead and praise again. And the question is, can she um, sit in this chair now? Well, we have Lindsay and Christy on. Yeah, no, doesn't work. So that was not a good place for it, I suppose. What if I put this here and then grab another one of these? And then this should be more lined up, I guess. I think I need another one besides it. Mm, no, I don't think I like that. Let's remove it again. How about just putting it there? Doesn't look great, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe if I move the pet bowl here. Like in the middle of everything so you can step on it. <laughs> Maybe it should be over there instead. And then let's put this one. Yeah, that works better. So then she should be able to still use the computer. Yes, now it works. Good. Have they made his friends yet? Yes, they have. Nice. I almost wish I could like drop down and film a machine scene in here now. <laughs> it just became so atmospheric for some reason. Two teenagers making friends, not knowing that they are siblings. <laughs> oh, Rose signed on. Nice. Then she can get to know her as well. That's good. Uh, let's just go ahead and say goodbye to everyone. Oh, she needs something more to eat as well. But first, let's chat with Rose. You can praise the cat again. Right. And yeah, just use the bathroom and go ahead and go to sleep. And Swan just needs to finish up here. She knows Rose now, that's good. And let's just grab some leftovers. Oh no, you want to use that one now instead. That's a shame. Let's put one in into the kitchen, just so that they have those <laughs> as well. Um, maybe one here and one there. So they prefer ones that are closer. Because I really would like to have that one still on... Um, on the piano stool. Cat is dangerously close to the food here. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and put this away and hurry to the bathroom and then you can also go ahead and sleep. Interestingly enough, the person who does not have the uh, music in dance hobby was the only one who actually played an instrument today. <laughs> And maybe Swan can find the time to do it tomorrow. Oh, and I forgot about the homework. But uh, yeah, it's way too late now. <laughs> nice, so they're both asleep. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed through the night. I'm actually also going to save at this point. <laughs> so I don't forget that. Hey, morning has come and the cat decided to sleep next to the bed, <laughs> apparently, for some reason. So, of course, uh, Vamsi has the day off today as well. So I'm just going to leave her to her own devices. But uh, Swan is going to have to get up and use the bathroom. I guess she can take a shower as well. And eat some breakfast. So I guess she can just have a bowl of cereal. Okay, so now she wants to go steady with someone. Um, I don't really think that that's possible. I'm trying to think of who she could like even get together with. That's not a relative of hers. Um, I suppose uh, maybe Ash, but uh, they don't know each other yet. Apparently Lauren is on the chat again. Hmm. Yeah, besides Ash, I'm going to take a look at my spreadsheet, what other teens I have. 
I mean, she is bisexual as well, so uh, it could be a girl, but that girl would have to be uh, not straight. And so far, we've, we've only had two straight girls who's not a relative of hers. I will have to see uh, about Haley, I suppose. That could be a possibility. Nolan is also a possibility. Oh, Nolan is actually on the chat. Nolan is a knowledge sim, and so is Ash. Yeah, so at least they know each other, but she doesn't know what she thinks about him. Let's uh, praise the cat. Maybe Emerald can learn to only eat pet food at this point. It's very close. No, not yet. I think maybe she's a Dofus then. No, she's in between actually. It's just taking a long time for her to learn for some reason. <laughs> okay. Well, Swan has to go to school now, so I'm just gonna ask her to walk downstairs. And here's the school bus anyway. And Vamsi is actually taking a bath, so she's woken up. But she also needs to eat some breakfast, so let's just grab a uh, bruschetta. Oh yeah, and I can also move this painting back to where it was. Yeah, I think I might go ahead and give her another cat, actually. Um, might as well, so that little Emerald has a companion. And Emerald has been behaving so well, so there's no, no need to keep extra attention there. Um, but I think I'm going to wait until after 11, so that the new cat is two days younger. So there's a bit of a bigger age difference. Great, so she's had her breakfast and I think she can also go ahead and fill the pet bowl. Actually, is Vamsi neat? Yeah, she's fairly neat, so she would clean up after herself. I'm thinking since they do have a maid coming soon, she if she were sloppy, she would probably just leave the plate for <laughs> the maid. Is there anyone interesting on the chat? No, not really. Let's just uh, hang out a bit with the cat then. Can't really think of anything else she would do at this point since she can't really go out to any community lot yet. Um, so I think that I'm gonna just have her sit down and read some more mechanical and speed through time until after 11 when she can get another cat. They have bills apparently. Oh, here's the maid now. So I should be able to give him a um, sneaky up change appearance here. Uh, wow. Bright orange hair. <laughs> can go with that, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going with that. Looks a bit better. We can actually go ahead and greet him. <laughs> to see if you are uh, attracted to him in the list. Well, not really, no. <laughs> can just check him out and see what happens. They do get along though. Apparently he likes talking about food. How interested is she in food really? Seems like that's the only thing she's talking about. Not that much actually. That's interesting. Wonder why that keeps popping up. Oh, she's really disinterested in animals. How about swan? A little bit more, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. Oh, okay. No. It's not for her, apparently. Oh, well. <laughs> so I guess she'll just ignore him. Um, now it's actually after 11, so I can get her another cat. Let's go shop online, buy pets. Okay, no, I don't think that this is the correct <laughs> cat for them. I'm just gonna check things out a bit here. Right, so Emerald was an oriental short hair, apparently. I mean, this looks pretty nice, right? Maybe... 
Let's take a look at the available eye colors. So I'm sort of thinking that maybe this cat should be like another gemstone, but they both have green eyes. That looks pretty cool, right? So maybe she can be topaz. That is a yellow stone, right? <laughs> I'm not making that up. Yes, I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm getting different results here. For some reason, there's like blue topaz and yellow topaz. Um, I am getting amber as well, though. Yeah, amber is only yellow. So let's go with amber instead. And her personality, she's apparently a genius, but very aggressive. So I think that Emerald was also aggressive, so good mix. Let's commit. And again, I need to put in a temporary mirror to put on the color. And she can have the same color. So let's see if Amber is as well behaved as Emerald is. And maybe most of all, if they get along. <laughs> there we go. Just give her a pat. Right. And let's just observe what the cats get up to for a while. Or maybe Vamsi is distracting the cat. <laughs> oh, no. Amber is throwing up. That was, wasn't very nice. Oh, I don't know what the Sims' obsession is with tossing the cats, but I feel like that's uh, what they often do autonomously. Are you going to scratch the sofa? Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and scold. I think I've only praised Emerald once for um, not uh, for scratching the scratching post, but she's really been really good with it. Might as well meet Ray Gray, I suppose. I would have liked her to meet uh, Mr. Big as well, but uh, he's not been on the chat yet. So let's praise Amber for being playful. Apparently Emerald really likes being on the counters. <laughs> Go ahead and use the bathroom. Oh, good. She's going to scratch on the scratching post. Nice, and Swan is back from school, and she actually is, has work today. So she's just, just going to drop off her homework and leave. Oh, nice. She actually made friends with um, Lakshmi. Or, well, not friends, but she, <laughs> she brought her home. That is cool. Yeah, I can see the two of them getting along. I think that Lakshmi would uh, enjoy the way that Swan styles herself, what with her being into fashion and, fashion and stuff. I think she would be interested in the way she colors her hair and stuff. Oh, she's playing instruments. <laughs> don't have to do that. Um, well, you don't have to play her guitar, that is. You can praise for not scratching the furniture. Oh, she apparently didn't know about <laughs> her hobby before this. Okay. Yeah, I think that Amber is running around crazily now, right? Yeah, so she can't praise, but she can praise Emerald for playfulness. Yeah, go ahead and serve some espresso again. She's building up a little bit of fun here before work. That's nice. Now, being into music... I suppose that she's probably dreaming of becoming some sort of idol. <laughs> she has a lot of those kinds of opportunities here in downtown. Yeah, she has to leave now for um, the sports club. And then Bamsi can go ahead and say goodbye to Lakshmi later. <laughs> yes, Emerald went to sleep on... Um, Swan's bed. I see. Uh, you can say goodbye to her. And why don't you, well, go back to reading mechanical, I suppose. I'm going to speed through again for a bit. 
And we have a chance card after work. One of Swan's co-workers that she dislikes asks if she would like to go stargazing. Though excited at the idea of going on a stargazing trip, should Swan go with a co-worker she doesn't care for? No, I don't think she would. <laughs> Swan gently declines the invite and her co-worker then asks to borrow her binoculars. Unable to come up with an excuse, she lends them. During the trip, her co-worker promptly loses the binoculars and Swan gets angry with him. Despite the binoculars being a run-of-the-mill pair, her co-worker feels bad and insists on compensating her 150 simoleons for them. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think that she would be a little bit grouchy, I suppose. Is that part of her personality? Yeah, it is actually. She's pretty serious and grouchy and, um, well, being the daughter of a criminal, <laughs> you know. I think that Swan is one you don't really mess with. <laughs> okay, so she's back. How are you feeling? You're really tired now. And apparently Vamsi is also in need of some stuff here. Um, why don't you go ahead and serve some dinner? You can grab some spaghetti today. And you need some energy. So just take the espresso that's waiting for you. Amber up to apparently in the in the bed okay <laughs> sure and then eventually uh, she's gonna have to get taught how to study today as well so don't forget it again oh nice she got the cooking skill right so now she has a few more options here that's good and she can also serve dessert Someone has been calling her, so let's see if she can answer before they hang up. Good, and now she's actually using the um, the counter spaces in the kitchen instead of in the living room. <laughs> okay, it's Jessica. So you can go ahead and eat. And um, let's just... Oh, she wants to go downtown, but we're already in downtown. Um... It's a nice invite, but uh, we're going to stay here because I don't have the community lots prepared yet. Just go ahead and use the bathroom first and then you can grab a plate. And Swan is eating. She's already lost a lot of friendship with Lakshmi, but I think that's one that she would like to build on to, actually. Why don't you go here and call up Lakshmi and have a chat for a bit? Is the mouse toy shoot up? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm just going to buy them a new one. Get rid of that one. Let's go ahead and praise Emerald once you're done with dinner. And actually, what is Amber up to? I'm still in the bed. Okay. You can put that away and clean this up. And then she should be ready to do the homework. <laughs> She's standing in the piano. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's because uh, it's on the diagonal. So it doesn't really recognize what tile it's sitting on, except like one over here or something. Okay, let's just have them work on the homework now before I forget again. And you have to hang up on your friend. Or well, acquaintance, I suppose. Not really friend yet. I'm pretty sure that Swan is aiming for overachiever. She's not a fortune sim, but uh, I can really see her, her mother's personality rubbing off on her a lot. You know, the fact alone that she hasn't um, told anyone, like the police or, or anyone else really, about her mother's true profession it really speaks a lot about her um, loyalty to her I suppose but I guess maybe she's looking away from it as well not really thinking about how it affects other people not sure what kind of um, items she's smuggling I mean it it's a very different story if she's smuggling drugs uh, compared to like smuggling fake art um, the drugs um, if it's drugs, it's way more sinister. 
I would say, even if both are bad. Right. Um, well, she can't really do much. So I think that I'm just going to go ahead and send her to bed unless there's someone interesting here on the chat. Mm, not really, no. Um, it looks like the cats are behaving so far. So yeah, I think I'm just going to send her to bed. Let's see if Swan can uh, finish up the homework that she's lagging behind on. I'm just going to keep an eye also on the cats. Looked like they were about to interact, but yeah, Emerald is spinning around in circles right now. <laughs> Amber is interested though. He's sat. Uh, that's not very, very nice. Yeah. I don't think that they have interacted yet. They they had they do know each other though, so that's a, a good start, I suppose. Yeah, she really needs fun then as well. If I have her drink some more coffee, maybe she can stay up long enough to like play some more guitar, maybe, or watch TV. Yeah. Let's start with some more espresso. <laughs> Yeah, this is still so cute. I really like this. <laughs> well, that's another... Um... Oh, okay. For some reason they did not get along. Oh, the poor cat just wanted a hug. <laughs> I think maybe I should put in some... Um, coffee table level OMSPs here, so they can actually... Uh, put the cups down on the table instead. I don't know why they don't use the table and they walk through it. Maybe there's no actual slot in it <laughs> or something. So I have one for a coffee table. I think the couch is a good height. Yeah, so just put a few of them in there. And let's have her just watch TV. Oh, the cats need more food first. Then you can watch TV. Yeah, you don't have to watch the cooking channel, you know. You can um, watch Sim Station dance. No, Amber also wanted to watch TV. <laughs> That's so sweet. Is she actually getting fun from that? Yeah, she is. No. Yeah, I think it's too late and she's going to be too tired to actually finish the homework as well. So <laughs> I'm just going to send her to the bathroom and then throw her in bed. The cats are still not interacting. They're just crossing paths so far. Actually, the cat was using the litter box, box again. So, well, both that she needs to praise her. And also, apparently, <laughs> the litter box needs to be cleaned. Uh, so praise for using the litter box. And then let's just clean this. Oh, Amber, are you also going to use the litter box? Uh, yeah, it's ready soon. Yeah, okay, good. Let's just have her go to bed. Oh, that was the first interaction with the cats and Amber hissed at Emerald. <laughs> oh, well, better just leave it here, actually, before the cats start to have fights. Look, I don't even know if it's going to provide any like closure to have this. Maybe I should just give you a shot of the entire house <laughs> like this is better. Um, but yeah, so this was their episode and uh, it did not turn out the way that I thought. I definitely didn't think that Vamsi would be a criminal. That really threw everything on its head. <laughs> but I think it's good also to think a bit outside of the box and make the seems different from each other. So yeah, I'm interested to see how she ends up interacting with other sims in the hood. I'm sure she definitely wants to rub, rub elbows with the influential and um, I'm also interested to see how Swan turns out with the other teenagers in town and, and also what her end goal ends up being. She started out uh, playing music now, but yeah, 
We'll have to see. I mean, one path could be like joining a band. She does uh, know Orion, after all, and both of them are playing instruments. So that could be a thing. Um, or she could try to become an idol, something like that. But I definitely think that she wants to, you know, become a celebrity at any rate. So we're going to have to see what happens there. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. And take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.